Hey, this is Dr. Corey Miller here with your Rossio Christi News Minute for May 19th. Here are four stories that we are tracking. In the spring of 2022, Baylor University, a private Baptist university with over 16,000 students, chartered its first ever LGBT student club called PRISM. Marking the anniversary, PRISM recently hosted, on campus grounds of course, a queer sex ed night, which included Planned Parenthood as one of their sponsors. Loud and proud, Two weeks after that event, PRISM hosted a tie-dye and queer color theory where attendees could color and, of course, learn about the various changing colors on the flags. Do you wonder if Baylor's administration regrets their decision yet of floating the LGBTQQIAA flag rather than the Christian one? Florida Governor Ron DeSantis once said that Florida is a place where woke comes to die. He signed a bill this week banning state funding for diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at Florida's public universities. Well. Yeah, I mean, institutions that incorporate DEI or DIE better often spell the death of that institution. The bill also puts limits on how race and gender can be taught at Floridian universities. This week, protesters picketed in front of New College where he signed the bill. New College marks the first university shedding its dye roots only to be resurrected to life as a viewpoint university. Beautiful. Asked about the protesters, DeSantis said, I was a little disappointed, I was hoping for more. A book published on Tuesday by a professor, Magda Teeter, is titled Christian Supremacy. The book espouses that white supremacy in the US and Europe is, quote, rooted in Christian ideas of social and religious hierarchy. The author says that the inherited racism goes all the way back to St. Paul himself. Now, the irony here is that Professor Teeter teaches at Fordham University, a private Catholic university. Did you know that whiteboards are racist? Believe it or not, it's true. A new study confirms it. I have a whiteboard right here. You see, by drawing the attention of students, the whiteboard, according to the authors of the study, somehow collaborate with white organizational culture. Campus Reform says when students use a whiteboard to display work, evidently, they are drawing attention to themselves that may portray characteristics of whiteness. To the author's credit, whiteboards really are white. Well, there you have it, folks. The problems downstream in culture come from upstream at the university, and that's why we at Rocio Christi are reaching students and professors with the gospel of Christ across the nation. I'm Dr. Corey Miller, and this has been your Rocio Christi News Minute.